Hello, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is called Instructions for Believers. Uh, I've been studying uh, courses uh, with Warrior Notes by Kevin Zadai, and uh, part of uh, doing the course, uh, each course is to read 65 pages of the Bible, and so I've been reading quite a lot of uh, the Bible uh, recently. And uh, I was reading through Thessalonians uh, in the Message Bible, uh, in the Passion Translation, which I find is a good translation. Kevin Zadai likes it. Um, and a few of the people on uh, Facebook like it. And uh, it's easy to understand. And uh, I came across uh, this passage in Thessalonians and it's some instructions for believers. Uh, and I just want to go through it with you uh, and see if uh, you find any of it helpful. Um, so, um, um, so it says uh, from verse 14, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14, uh, we appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, to instruct those who are not in their place of battle. Be skilled at gently encouraging those who feel themselves inadequate. Be faithful to stand your ground. Help the weak stand again. Be quick to demonstrate patience with everyone. Resist revenge and make sure no one pays back evil in place of evil, but always pursue doing what is beautiful to one another and to all unbelievers. Let joy be your continual feast. Make your life a prayer. And in the midst of everything, be always giving thanks for this is God's perfect plan for you in Jesus Christ. So that was the passage and we're going to uh, go through it uh, line by line. Uh, we appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, to instruct those who are not in their place of battle. Uh, so this is some instructions uh, for people and the instructions follow. Be skilled at gently encouraging those who feel themselves inadequate. Um, so many of us uh, feel at times that we're inadequate, that we don't measure up that uh, we haven't got it all going on. And uh, there's so many people uh, in the Christian faith who uh, tell me that uh, they'd like to have a life like mine. And uh, they read my books and they feel uh, inadequate. Um, it's up to us, uh, Paul says here, it's up to us to gently encourage those people uh, in the journey, in the battle. Uh, it's uh, up to us to uh, have uh, timely uh, prophetic uh, words uh, for those people who are finding it hard and finding it a struggle uh, and finding themselves or seeming to think that they're inadequate. Uh, we have to uh, say the good things that uh, stand out about that person and encourage them in their strengths and uh, and uh, be able to lift them up and exhort them and uh, build them up uh, with uh, the good things that they're good at doing. Be faithful to stand your ground. So many times uh, we're uh, in a battle and uh, we'd like to give up and we'd like to back down. Uh, we may be making a stand about something or starting uh, something new that the Lord has led us to start. And then uh, we may feel like uh, backing down or quitting. Um, and uh, this is uh, Paul's admonition, admonition here to faithfully stand your ground. Uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, good advice uh, for us to stand our ground. Help the weak to stand again. Um, part of being a strong soldier uh, in uh, 
the battle of uh, being a Christian is to uh, lend a hand to the weak and lift them up and encourage them and bless them. Um, what's the use of being strong if you can't be there uh, for the weak? Uh, so um, it says help the weak stand again. Uh, be quick to demonstrate patience with everyone. Um, it's all right uh, to uh, be patient with the people that you get along with. Uh, uh, but sometimes there's people that rub us up the wrong way. Sometimes we need patience with people. And uh, Paul says, be quick to demonstrate patience with everyone. Uh, be quick. Don't just demonstrate patience, but be quick to demonstrate patience. Resist revenge. Make sure no one pays back evil in place of evil. So many people uh, have something come against them as someone come against them and say something about them. Instead of forgiving the person, they gossip and they tell everyone what a bad thing that person does. And uh, that turns people against the person and that's a way of having revenge. Um, and that's quite natural uh, for people to do that. It's accepted practice. Gossip is just uh, uh, par for the course. It's just a uh, standard uh, that people have. And uh, it's not the right standard and it's paying evil back for evil. Um, some people actively uh, do things to uh, have revenge on people. And uh, Paul says, uh, not to pay anyone back, uh, evil for evil. Um, but he says, but always pursue doing what is beautiful to one another and to all the unbelievers. So he says, uh, be beautiful to one another and especially to unbelievers. Uh, uh, be an example uh, to unbelievers. Uh, this uh, these instructions about being beautiful isn't just for you to be beautiful to other Christians, but uh, to also to unbelievers. Uh, this uh, demonstrates your faith uh, to the unbelieving world when you can not repay evil for evil, but uh, be beautiful uh, to an enemy and uh, treat an enemy with dignity and love. And uh, this uh, uh, stands out and uh, makes a statement uh, to unbelievers. Let joy be your continual feast. Uh, do, do you uh, live in joy? Uh, do you have a life that's seasoned with joy? Uh, Paul seems to think that you can have that life um, and uh, for him to be writing this, uh, his life uh, would have been filled with joy. And uh, you saw all the things he suffered uh, in his letters. Uh, you can uh, be sure that uh, even amongst all that suffering, he had a life of joy. And uh, no one could write this statement, let joy be a continual feast if they weren't experiencing joy. Make your life a prayer. Uh, that's uh, pray without ceasing. That's the same as uh, the line, pray without ceasing, make your life a prayer. Um, let your life uh, be one of prayer, uh, that, um, that uh, you're continuing in prayer. And uh, prayer doesn't always have to be in English. It can be in tongues. Um, and uh, you can have a life of tongues. Uh, I haven't got uh, much of a tongues language. So I don't use it, uh, but, uh, but uh, I'm sure the Apostle Paul would agree with me. Uh, he's agreeing right now as I speak um, that uh, this is where going about your daily life and praying in tongues uh, is beneficial and uh, he says to make your life a prayer. And in the midst of things, 
midst of everything, be always giving thanks for this is God's perfect plan for you in Christ Jesus. Uh, so have a life um, uh, have a life of uh, giving thanks. Um, he goes on to say, never restrain or put the fire out the fire of the Holy Spirit and don't be one who scorns prophecies, but be faithful to examine them by putting them to the test and afterward holding tight to what is proven to be right. Avoid every appearance of evil. Uh, so uh, don't despise prophecies, uh, it says in the New King James, but test what test them and keep what is good. That's what it says in New King James. Um, so uh, there's some things the Apostle Paul uh, has to say um, to each of us. Uh, I hope uh, you've learned something uh, from uh, what I've shared. Um, I look forward to reading more of the Bible and uh, bringing uh, excerpts uh, to you and uh, preaching them. Um, it does me uh, a world of good uh, to uh, bring uh, excerpts to you and uh, do a little preach on them uh, because it further enforces the scripture uh, into my own life. Um, and I hope that you're encouraged. Um, uh, I'm a prophet and I do uh, personal prophecies and uh, you can... Uh, uh, go to the description tag and uh, go to my website and request yourself a personal prophecy. God bless.